Just finished the game plan for today. Check it out. My offensive and defensive ebooks are now available over on HotRock.Tips. If you guys are looking to win more games than Madden 20, that's the place to be. And don't forget, use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Chaos Coaching, where I move on from my role as just a Madden player, and I move on to my role as a coach, where I help you guys to get better at the game. I break down everything from my personnel, through my thought processes, why I called a certain shell, why I made a certain adjustment. Everything that I do, guys, I try to break down for you. Now, I'm continually trying to get better at this. This is not an easy thing to do, to continuously play well, while also just breaking down every single thing. I'm trying to get better at it, continually trying to get better. Let me know if you guys think I'm getting better, and if there's anything I can do to improve. That's something I'm trying to do each and every day to help you guys. Now, before we start breaking down the gameplay, I do have a few quick tips for you guys. First, get yourself one of these. Get yourself a nice little water bottle. Stay hydrated. If you're not hydrated, you can't think straight. Get yourself a nice little hat. It takes you into the coach's head. It helps you guys to think through what they're thinking. And finally, get yourself a whistle. Sometimes your players need a little bit of motivation. Maybe they're not playing hard. Give them a little whistle. Tell them, buck up. Get ready to play. Before we get into this gameplay, guys, I do want to let you guys know I'm giving away three of my Miami Dolphins split close ebooks. Now, you guys are watching Chaos Coaching. That's probably the best Chaos Coaching you can get. It's my full scheme. I break everything down. I don't hold anything back from you guys. I do update and I'm planning on updating it soon. So if you guys want to do that, Twitter link is in the description below for the tweet. Now, I also made a post over on YouTube for the community post. You guys can check that out as well. If you guys don't have your notification bells on and are checking out this community post, you probably should do that. I always do channel updates, uh, let you guys know when a new video is coming, giveaways, all that stuff's always on there. So make sure you guys are checking that out, interact with you guys. It's always a good time. Let's jump over to my lineup. I can break down my personnel for you, why I chose what I chose. Made some changes from last video. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll get into the game. All right, so here's the team, guys. I made some changes from last video. So first and foremost, we upgraded our guards. I feel like my double teams were getting split a lot. So I wanna see if I upgrade my guards, will that stop that? So we'll see. Uh, I got rid of my abilities on the tackles. Now they did work. If you remember, I used edge protector and all day. They both worked really well. Uh, but I felt like I wanted to try some other abilities out. I've used those for such a long time. I got to try out Jukebox. So I put one on Barry. I haven't used Jukebox all year. Unbelievably enough, as good as it is, I haven't used it all year. So we put, we picked up Barry and added the ability to him with first one free for the NFL 100. We have backfield mismatch because we throw we throw our running back a good amount. Then we have Jukebox and Evasive. I mean, just juke people out of their shoes, right? So, and then we also have, we have Torrey Holt. So he probably has the best abilities you can get in the game. First and foremost, he gets route technician. That's gonna make you win against man-to-man -man on anything with a break. Corner routes, out routes, in routes, uh, slants, posts. Everything with a break, he's gonna beat him in man-to-man. -man. And then you have slot apprentice, which is gonna give him the four additional hot routes. And you have slot automatic, which is gonna give you quick cuts too and better catching. But route technician and slot apprentice are very, very good. Gonna be very effective. For defense, we made a couple changes, not a ton. I hate when these pictures are missing, man. I don't know why it does this. But, so we picked up, we picked up uh, Amos or Amos, uh, not sure which one it is, but we picked him up and we, we brought back Jamal Adams. So now we're gonna probably put uh, these two at linebacker and leave Troy Palomalo and Adams at safety. Haven't decided yet, maybe leave Amos up top and put um, and put Adams at linebacker. I'll probably think about it as we get into the gameplay, but I had been putting Ray Lewis and Ryan Shays here there, but if they're in a passing offense and you're in one four six, why not just use the safeties there? There's no point of having the slow linebackers, leave them for run defense and when people are under center and stuff. So that's probably the change I'll make. Corners are the same. We have Denzel Ward and Dion, uh, Trufant and Slay. So teams looking solid. I, I like the upgrades we made. We still have the same abilities on defense. Reggie White with power, uh, with power specialist. Ray Lewis to stop the run, and Pat Tillman just to be Pat Tillman like things. But let's get into the game, man. All right, guys. So starting off the game, it's always nice to see what your opponent's abilities are. That way you can tell what they like to use, what they like to do right away. So he has Randall Cunningham. Probably has escape artist. He's got a Michael Urban. Didn't lay a running back in his top three. That probably means he likes to pass the ball more. Now, it doesn't guarantee it, but it probably means that he wants to throw the ball. Now, we're receiving first, but we have it set to kick off. Make sure you guys go into your settings. Make sure you're kicking off first. That should be your first option. And the second option should be against wind. That way, if you lose the toss, you at least have the wind with you in the fourth quarter if you need a big, like a big field goal at the end of the game. Those two are the key options to helping you guys with your clock management and your game management. Now, my coaching adjustments are changed to balance. I did use, I told you guys I used conservative before, but now that I have Barry Sanders, I have to use him in the way that he's intended, which is juke everyone out of their shoes and make them work for it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to try out balance. Hopefully I don't fumble a lot. I was fumbling on conservative anyways, 
So it's not like I am losing anything. So we'll figure it out. We'll see how balanced it is and we'll try to make it work. Now you guys saw me setting my audibles and stuff. Make sure you guys are doing that. Make sure you guys have all the plays that you need. So just in case the play you call isn't right, you guys can still make a play work. Right here, just a little PAY shot. I mean, y'all know how that goes. Now the first couple drives are always figuring out what your opponent wants to do, right? Now he was in the cover two there. I noted that. So now I know he's in the cover two. Now he looks like he's setting up a blitz. Now we're ready for a blitz. We're gonna we're gonna basically set up a play where we can attack cover two and cover three with a blitz. Whichever one he's in, we can do. So right there, just hit this nice little corner route and take on my big game. Now he didn't have a bird hook there. That's why I'm able to fit that corner route in. No matter what offense you're in, little baby inside corner routes from the uh, from the inside can beat cover two before it gets out to the flat if there's not a yellow to, to kind of uh, guard it early on and it's cut. Now late, the cloud flat will take it away, but right there he didn't have a bird hook, so there's not much he can do. Now I'm just gonna max pro. If he keeps sending the blitz at me, I'll have my guys max pro be able to pick up the blitz and be able to make a read downfield. He didn't blitz me this time. Just gonna do a nice little low ball. If you guys are ever in doubt on your passes, if it didn't look, if something doesn't look open, low ball. Just trust me, that didn't look open, right? I throw that all the time. I complete it pretty much all the time. It works. You just have to trust me on it. Low ball is so, so good. Now he's been mixing up his coverage as well. He's been in cover two and cover three. Just try to keep putting plays out there that you think will beat both. Now he's in man to man. He's continuously changing it up. This looks like a match. That looks like a match. The guy's doing a good job of uh, mixing up his coverages. You can't beat it every single time. That's why you need an escape artist out there. Gotta have a quarterback that can make plays, guys. I highly re recommend getting yourself an escape artist. If you have to use Hot Route Master, I understand. But escape artist is just a different breed, man. You're able to make so many plays that you wouldn't be able to make uh, otherwise if you had like a, a slower quarterback. Now he's in a nickel set, but he doesn't. He has his nickel away from my run, so I'm gonna run the ball to the left because his nickel's away. Now I suck and have no stick, but usually when you have the numbers like that, it's not a bad idea to run the ball. Considering the fact that uh, he had his nickel on the opposite side of my run. He needs to make sure he's flipping it. If you guys are on the opposite end of this, if you're on defense, make sure you're flipping your formation to keep the strong side on the run. Just to help you give yourself a little bit of extra run defense so that they can't tote on you. Just a little bit of an offensive tactic for you. I'm flipping. He had his guy to the strong set. Now I flipped to get him to the weak side. He didn't flip with me. He should be flipping with me, but he's not. I'm going to audible down to like an off tackle stretch lap type run. See if I can get a big run. We got a one-on-one -on -one out there. Jukebox. Ah. See, that's why I'll use jukebox, man. I'm terrible with it. But you guys see I created a one-on-one -on -one because he didn't keep his strong side of the defense with my run. He's been in this cover four quarters. I'm going to try to attack the sidelines here, see if I can get him to not match. Yep, right there. Perfect again. Let that flat hold. Throw that corner out inside uh, before it gets to the flat. Once again, he didn't keep his strong side on the side of the run. Going to audible down this off tackle. Hopefully, he can break a decent run here and punch this thing into the end zone. Right there. Oh, my guy didn't hold his block. Right there, you guys are seeing it. I'm able to get a lot of running lanes and have chances to good runs. Now, you guys probably have better stick than I do. I, for one, have terrible run stick when it comes to running the ball. That's why I'm a passer. I can't run the ball. But you guys could be probably punching this thing in if you guys uh, if you guys are running the ball effectively. Just gonna, I'm going to my red zone play here. You guys always, everyone needs a red zone play. If you don't have one, got to go find one. Um, if you, can't, if you can't be effective in the red zone, you're going to lose games. Because if you're taking three instead of seven, you're just not going to be effective. you got to get sevens. And that's my money red zone play right there. It's one of one of my few that I really like. you got to have them in your back pocket. you got to be able to punch the ball in the end zone and get seven. Now I'm sky kicking here. Always sky kick. Personally, I, I've given up so many, so many kickoff touchdowns if I don't sky kick, man. Just sky kick. I know you guys don't want him to get to the 30 or the 35, but it's better than a touchdown, man. So he's coming out in the gun. Uh, so I came out on 146, probably my new, uh, probably my favorite shotgun defense, and I'm just gonna be trying to figure out what he likes to do. Now I actually just gave him a touchdown; he didn't see it. Uh, but this is just my feel out drive. I always tell you guys the first couple drives of the game on both sides of the ball are feel outs. Now he just streaked this guy, so now I'm putting a deep quarter on the outsides. I'm actually gonna create like a little bit of a cover four shell. Still in the same blitz. He tried to go deep again, didn't work this time, considering the fact that, jeez, Cunningham's fast. Holy crap! But it didn't work because he, he had the streak before. I saw it, so I changed from a, from a cloud flat to a deep quarter. Third and inches here, I'm going to make sure I play inside zone defense. I do not want him to get it running the ball. If he gets it passing the ball, that's okay. If he wants to pass the ball, make a quick read. Good for him. That's a good read. Nothing wrong with that. Ooh, Ingram. But I don't. you don't want to give the ball. You don't want to give the first down up running the ball right there. It's just not something you want to do. 
Uh, so I made sure to make sure I took that away. Make make sure he can make that quick read. Now, if he doesn't make that quick read, he's probably getting sacked right there because we're sending the whole team right there. Put the deep quarter. We get a pick, man. It, it's it's not rocket science, guys. He streaked the guy before. Had a touchdown against my cloud flat. I noticed it. I changed it to a deep quarter. I get myself a pick. I mean, this is all the things you got to do. He set up a blitz here. I'm going to max pro. I should be able to pick it up because I can block seven with two running backs here. I know I can pick it up and I'll just make time to throw an open read. Bam. We have a wide open pass. Wide open dot. It's not rocket science. Guys, if you see a blitz, you know you can pick it up. Pick it up, throw the wide open dot. If you know you can't pick it up, because there's blitzes out there that you can't pick up, then get out a quick read. So if I know he's 7-7, seven seven, let's pretend like I can't pick this up, right? I'm going to put some routes out there that I know I can complete before he sacks me. So he blitzes. Of course, he swats it down. But you guys got the concept. Uh, I'll probably do it again if he tries to set up that blitz. But just putting out routes that you know that he can't scream, like he can't sack you before you can throw them, that's going to be effective for you. So hopefully he blitzes again. I want to show you guys this hitch. This hitch is really, really good. So of course he doesn't blitz, but sometimes sometimes you make the wrong adjustment. Oh my gosh, he just made the sweatiest play ever. Oh my gosh, great play. Wow. See, that's that's just me kind of disrespecting him. Uh, he sent the guy as a spy. He came down at me. I figured the route's open. He clicks onto the spy, backs up, gets a pick. Wow. Great, great play by him. Drini actually did that in the uh, in the tournament, which is impressive. But I didn't expect him to make that play. That's a good play by him. That's something you guys definitely could probably learn from him. That's something I can get better at as well. Good play by him. Now, he just ran Max Pro. And that's the thing with Randall Cunningham, man. That's why you need yourself Andrew Luck. That's why I have Dashing Deadeye. That's a touchdown for him right there if he doesn't have Randall Cunningham. But good play by him. So he went to split close, tried to bomb me. Now he's back in his normal gun doubles. Gonna make sure we take away that deep, uh, that deep, uh, that deep route with our deep quarter. Good read by him. We're gonna try to create ourselves a cover four shell a little bit. I feel like the cover four shell is gonna do a better job against this doubles than than a cover two shell. I'm gonna alert the running back early. He's thrown a quick twice. Come back to it. Ooh, that's gotta be a pick. Early in these games, guys, you gotta make sure you're taking away the routes that they like to throw. You're learning what they like to throw, and you're taking them away. So I've learned already. Let's go, man. I've learned already that he likes his running back flat. He's thrown it twice, and he's tried to streak me twice. So I'm putting my deep quarter, and I'm taking away that flat on the early read just to make sure he takes a little bit of a he second, hesitates, maybe gets a sack like we did right there. He's in 146 now. Now my offense allows me to audible down to I form. If you guys do this, make sure you guys have a run that works against 146. Now, he did a good job there. I need to do motion. But make sure you guys have a run that you like against 146. Everyone runs it this year. It's extremely effective. But if you can run on it, they can't run it against you. So against me, you can't really really run that against split close. It's not going to be effective because I can audible down to I form. Typically, I can usually just break off huge runs against them. Now, I just need to do some motion here, and it should work. I should be able to pick up a huge gain. We'll see, though. Sometimes, every once in a while, people will have decent defense for it. So if he's one of those guys, then kudos to him. But, yeah, usually I can break off 7, 8. And I have a one-on-one -on -one there. If I juke that guy, I'm probably gone. Unluckily for me, I have no stick, and I'm not used to jukebox. But... If he does that consistently, I'm just going to keep running on him. I'm not going to change up. Now, you'll notice here, I'm, I usually run my split close to the wide side, but I'm keeping it on the short side right now because I want to do my handoff to the right. With your quarterbacks, you got to make sure you have your uh, handoff hand with the right hand, considering that if you have the wrong hand, the, the handoff's going to be really, really slow, and you're going to be hitting the backfield because if they hand off with the wrong hand, it's based on which hand they have. So if you have a Michael Vick or like a, another left hand with Steve Young, you'll want to hand off the other way. So just keep that in mind when you guys are running the ball. She would have picked this up. He's doing a decent job of stopping this, unfortunately, but like we'll break one. Like, I just have no stick. Gosh, cut left. Right there. I, I should have cut left, but it's also in a spot where you kind of want to make sure you get the first down. So kind of pick your poison. But if he stays in this, I mean I'm picking up good chunks, regardless if I'm breaking them for touchdowns or not. Uh, I'm just gonna keep running him against him. I don't know. He's being stubborn. I don't know why, but he's not gonna be able to stop me doing this. So I'm just gonna keep doing this motion. Yeah, there's my big chunk. Juice box. Yep. 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 Ah, see? I, I'm going to get better at this thing. I'm going to get better as we go. I'm going to get better as we go. Now, I don't want to just run all video, so I will pass against this, showing you guys that you can pass against it. Oh, if you see somebody stuck like that and you have escape, I definitely was 100% sliding right there. Disregard that. I was, I 1,000% slid. But if you see someone that's going to um just um, not spy you and get stuck on their DT like that, you have to, have to, have to... Uh, take off with your quarterback. That's my first read as an escape artist. If they don't have a spy and they're not in position to stop me with their user, bam, I'm taking off. 
nothing wrong with that. Take your free yards now. Maybe you should slide a little bit sooner than I did, but should be able to punch this in. If he's going to stay in this 146, I can pass against this no problem, and I will show it throughout the game if he stays in this, but right here, run the ball. Dang, Kent. Juke. <laughs> I'm going to go hurry up here. If you see someone in defense that you that you want to play against, why not just um, hurry up and make them stay in it or make them blow a timeout? Either or, they're going to be in some trouble. Now, I'm going to try this off tackle. Yeah, the off tackle is good too. Really, you can run anything against it. If you're in split close, audible down, please, when you're playing against 146. Take your free yards. It's so, so easy. Nothing he can do to stop it. 15 seconds left here, guys. I'm making sure not to do anything silly. Um, don't give up any bombs. Anything like that. Just making sure I play solid defense. And if I don't give up a big chunk here, he can't score on me. So, no problem. We'll go to halftime up 14-0. So, we're kicking off the start of the second half. Basically, we're in a spot where we're up 14-0. If we get a stop, we basically win the game. Uh, but if he scores, he's right back in the game and just needs one stop. So, this is probably the most important possession of the game. We want to make sure we play solid defense. Make sure he works. We don't want to give him an easy touchdown. You don't want to let him score in like a minute. Uh, without making him work you want to learn everything he wants to do continue to figure out what he likes and from there take it to the take it to the point where if he scores seven it takes him like three four minutes and then you can basically clock him out and finish the game off either way you're up two possessions you got to play like it basically out of split close he's only ran one play it's extra drag trail with a max pro no adjustments so he just changed it up right there jeez oh, i'm never picking up that randall cunningham holy crap that was bad I'm not allowing him to have that uh, that outside route. Again, he had it the first play. Now I'm on the running back. Good play by him. So he did it to the other side now. He flipped it. He had been doing it always to the running back side. Now he did it to the opposite side. I'll make sure to have my, my deep quarters on both sides now. So I'm going back to the cover four shell here, making sure he doesn't get that streak. He had it on the one side. I made sure to take it away from the other. He's going to the run now. He's doing smart. He learned that you can audible down to runs and be successful against this. However, I'll be able to stop that if he keeps going back to that. So that's that That run's not quite as good. You guys got to make sure you have a run that you like. I'm on it. I was ready for the streak. I was ready for the streak. I told you guys. I told you guys that that's what he likes. This is how you learn from your opponent. This is what you do. When you're going throughout a game, you see what your opponent likes to do. Those first couple possessions. I knew he liked the running back flats. And I knew he liked those outside streaks. Well, I was ready for it, and it gave me—it's giving me two picks now. He's throwing it to my AI, who got it on a, uh, when he was in a deep quarter. Then I got it with my user there. That's effective. That's easy. That's something you guys can all do, no matter how high of a skill level you use. You can pay attention to what they're doing and learn from it. Now he's in a cover two invert or a cover three shell here. I'm attacking the outside flat, and I know that because he has the single high safety, and he's in that like that four four look. So whenever you see that, you guys know you can attack the sidelines really, really easily on offense. He's showing blitz now. I wanted to show you guys before how fast you can get routes out whenever they're in a... Oops. Oh my gosh, I suck. <sighs> I suck. You know, if I was super prideful, I'd probably cut that out, but I'll keep it in for you guys. That was so bad. So bad. Gosh. We're, you know, we're going to chalk that one up. We're going to chalk that one up to me keeping the game close so that we can get a full gameplay of Chaos Coach. And I can show you guys what to do in a closer game so I didn't blow them out. That's why I did that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Now, that read was simply me being stubborn. I really want to show you guys that you can get these passes off against a heavy blitz. So I'm actually going to do it again. And he didn't blitz me. But I wanted you guys to see that because everyone should know that you can be effective with your passes even if you can't block the blitz. You can allow the blitz to come in. You can get out your hitches. Got your quick motion drags, uh, stuff like that. You can get those passes off. And I wanted you guys to see that. So I will do it again. If he goes to the blitz, I will show you guys again. I made a poor read there. That's actually something I rarely do against the blitz. I'm actually, I actually love when people blitz seven against me because I can pick it up number one and then I can bomb over the top. But then I can also be really, really successful with the quick reads with the hitches and stuff like that. So I like both. I don't mind people blitzing me. Hopefully he does it again so I can show you guys the read that you can make. Jukebox. Oh, I'm getting good with it. Don't let me get good with jukebox. Don't let me get good with it. Mm -mm. I feel like he has a single high safety here, so I feel like he's going to cover three. I was wrong. But we have Barry. But I thought he, I felt like he was going to cover three there, so I tried to attack the sidelines. Didn't work out, but that's okay. That's why you have you have plays that can beat more than one coverage. If you just have plays that only beat one coverage, and that's all you have, you're going to struggle. Now, everyone has plays that they know they like to run better against certain coverages, but sometimes you just have a play that beats both. Now, he's back in this blitz. I'm going to be throwing the hitch. You guys will see. You can get it off. Bam. See, he even rushed himself. If he's rushing himself free around the edge, you know you can get that pass off quick. Now, I know you guys are probably going to be in the comment section where you threw a pick six trying to do that, blah, 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 blah. Well, it takes practice. You guys need to make sure you're getting your reads down. So you guys are going to see it. I'm going to do it again. 
I probably won't make a bad read like that again. So right here again, bam, easy read. Now the hitches are gonna win every single time against against man to man. It's just automatic. And then even if they, if they have route technician, which is what um, Holt has, it's gonna make it even better. So that's just something you guys need to look into. But you guys are seeing here, that's all I wanted to show. That's all I wanted to show. Now he's in a blitz. I know I have a run here that beats the blitz. Just like I said against 146, you need a run to kind of keep people on, on their toes. You also need a run that you like against it. Now, he actually just shot that guy crazy. Usually that run's pretty successful against it, but everyone needs a run that they like, that they can uh, that they can go to to get people out of their blitz. If you pass against the blitz every single time this year, it's going to be really tough on you. So you need a run that you can go to, and I have a couple that I like. It's just up to you guys to find the ones that you like if you're in a different offense. Now, usually I'll kick three here. Chaos coaching, the smart thing clearly is to kick three now i kind of want a close game so if i don't get it that's cool and i can also just let you guys know that you need a fourth down play so those are the two things i'm letting you guys know about just wanted you guys to see it good blocking dude there's no way that that guy just came in no way that almost never happens with uh, with the max pro from 146 i mean from split close but that's good that's fine i'm glad that happened like i said i probably would have kicked three well, no, not probably i 100 would have kicked three if i'm like 1000 trying to win the game but you guys learn more from a uh from a close game than a, than a non-close game. So why not just let it be, let it be a closer game, let you guys get some enjoyment out of it, let you guys see me sweat here on defense, only up one possession. So again, not giving him those deep streaks, I'm gonna make him work down the field. Nothing else, if he, gets, if he takes other routes, good for him. Uh, that's what we're gonna force him to do and see what he actually is capable of, capable of doing. So he max pro here, deep quarter pick again. Oh my gosh, pick the ball off, man, come on. So he made the same mistake again, throwing that pick. Now, I just didn't pick it off, but we're in good shape here. Takes his flat. Good read by him. But this year, honestly, I feel like just regular flat routes from receivers just aren't good. I, I feel like they don't work well. I don't mind giving those up, even against deep quarters. People will rally back to the ball just so quick. He's going to have Ingram here. Yeah. He quick hiked it. Good play by him. I didn't get my flat out there that I wanted on that side. Running back flats can get a lot more than, uh, than wide receiver flat. So I'll make sure to get that adjustment in this time. Shouldn't have anything open here. I didn't get my spot. Good play him. He's doing a good job right now on offense. He's quick hiking, not, not allowing me to set up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go to a cover three. So I'm in my cover three here and I'm not pressing. That way, if he quick hiked, he wasn't going to have anything. See, he's been quick hiking me every time because I have to make adjustments on my cover two. So I'm going to a cover three now and it keeps him from being able to quick hike me because I can just set up really quickly as well. I don't need to press or anything. I literally can just set it up and I'm good to go. So he wants to keep quick oh, Yeah, they called me offside. It's great. That's crazy, but I don't know if he's going to accept it or not. But that's that's so dumb. I, I hate that glitch. I don't touch anybody, and yet I'm offside. How does that make any sense? He showed run, so I'm actually going to pull these guys in. If he runs again, I should be able to blow it up. And he passed. Rally back to the ball. See, if you rally back to the ball, you don't pick up a lot this year. I'm in my cover three. Set up. Should be should be able to stop any pass that he gets. If he quick hikes me, and he ran the ball. He's doing a good job now. Oh, Tillman! I like Tillman in that spot. All right, he won't run the ball again after seeing that. So I like the spot we're in here. I'm going to spy. Haunting my spy in. Oh. Oh, Tillman again. Yo, this Tillman's juice. Get yourself a Tillman, man. I'm actually going to go down here. Obviously, clearly I've won the game twice. I would have been two possessions. But I want you guys to see offense. Let you guys see me actually just fully play out and, and win the game for yourself. So he's blitzing. Now, I know I can pick it up. So I'm going to show you guys you can pick it up from this formation. And when someone's blitzing and you know you can pick it up, please pick it up and bomb, it, bomb them over the top. Don't don't play around with them. I have A probably, but we're just going to take off here. That's the other thing about escape artists, man. If people are blitzing you and you know you can pick it up, they can't send seven and have a spy out there, guys. They can't possibly play defense that way. So you know if you can get outside the pocket, you're just going to be gone. And right there, that's exactly what I did. I saw that I picked up his blitz. We're out of the pocket. I'm good to go. Now I'm going to do it again. And now he can't check Tyreek on this crosser. So if he doesn't scream at me, he's pretty much done. Have a touchdown. Get yourself a nice little dashing dead eye, Andrew Luck, and you win the game. See right there. That's why. That's why Andrew Luck's better than Randall Cunningham, man. I don't know if Cunningham makes that pass. That's an easy pass for Luck. You'll never miss it. Get yourself a dead, dead eye accurate, and you win yourself the game. So now we're up two possessions. There's 2:31 left. Now he technically still is in the game. If he scores with probably a minute plus, keeps his three timeouts, it'll be a one possession game, and he can just use his timeouts to get me get a stop for himself. So here's my goal for me. I don't care if he scores one touchdown. He can't score two. So I'm just going to make him work as hard as possible. Make him take as much time as possible. Take every flat route. Take every drag until he gets down the field. And that's probably going to take up a couple minutes. 
He came out a bit close. We know what he's running. He's running that bomb play. It's what he's ran all game. We're not gonna make. We're not gonna give that up. We're just not gonna give that up. And of course, that's exactly what he's in. It's not open. We're here. Oh my gosh, he caught that actually. That, that should have easily been a pick, but I got out of position. But he did throw it across the line, so we'll accept that penalty. But again, guys, just making sure he works. Don't give him any bombs. There's no reason to give anything up right here. I'm going to keep a spy out there. Not going to let him run with his quarterback anymore. And just keep making him take underneath, underneath, underneath. Now, something to note is there actually isn't any uh, runoff in this. Good play by him. There's no runoff in, uh, in Mutt. However, if you're playing a competitive mode, salary cap, uh, regs, you should have a runoff, so they're gonna they're gonna take even more time with uh, with their offense here. Got it rolled out right. Doesn't have anything open. Has to throw the ball away. That runoff is actually super important because it's actually impossible to drive down the field if you're not getting out of bounds. So make sure you're noting whatever mode you're playing in, so you can know what things are gonna happen. Just making sure you know, just making sure you understand the game. That's the most important thing about this year: understanding the game as much as possible. So right here we have our spy. We're not letting him run. Oh my gosh, good play. I thought I deep half that guy, but I think I deep half the other guy. That's a mistake by me. I wanted to make sure I deep half that guy not to give up a bomb, but I think I, I did the wrong guy. That's my mistake. Right here, he's doing a good job. I'm letting him score a little bit quicker than I would have liked with that bomb. That kind of sucked, but we're, we're in good shape right here still. We have our spy here. If we keep making him take some clock away, we'll be okay. Oh, I tried to lurk that. Good play. That's a great drive by him. Um couple mistakes by me got rid of my deep half um and I, I gave up that seam out right there because i bumped the inside receiver by accident so he got seven now i'm in this spot where i need to make sure i get one first down one first down wins the game he has three timeouts and because it's a mutt and there's no runoff he can actually score with that time now if this was salary cap here's what i'm doing i'm running the ball three times 100 percent, and i'm punting the ball to him he'll have about a minute no timeouts one tackle and bounce he's pretty much done Whereas in Mutt, since there's no runoff, you can go hurry up. I'm probably going to pass the ball if I get to a third down. Now, if I do get to the if the first two, I'm still going to run the ball. But if we get to a third down, I'm probably going to pass because you still need to get that first down. Hand the ball off to Barry here. And again, guys, making sure you have runs against these blitzes that you feel comfortable in and you know work, making sure you can be able to go to them. Again, I'm going to make him take another time out here. On third down, I'll probably go to my best play. you got to know what your best play is. PAY shot's mine. That's probably what I'll go to on the, on the third down. Gosh, dang, I'm taking a lot of hit sticks. So I'm actually going to go to conservative here. Um, I probably should have done it on first and second down, but I wanted to leave myself open for a jukebox. But now that, I, now that I'm on third down, I know I'm passing. No reason to be on uh, anything but conservative. If I get a completion above the first down marker, I win the game. So right here, we know we can pick up the blitz. GG's in the chat. It's all you guys have to do, man. Just, just playing the mind game, thinking through the game. Making sure you do your best. Now, my stats weren't great today. Uh, I made a couple mistakes. But that's something that you can learn from. I'm, I'm kind of glad that mistakes happen in this mode, uh, in this in the series, I mean. Because if if I do if I just play perfect and I play someone who's not like not great and doesn't make me make any mistakes, you guys don't really learn anything, right? I mean, you guys might learn a little bit, but it's better when these games are close like this. I can walk you guys through what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, what, he's think what I think he's thinking, and what he's trying to do. So... I hope this was helpful for you guys. He had a nice click on pick, huh? He really did. That was tough. But hope you guys enjoyed, man. I hope this was helpful. Again, let me got, let me know if there's anything I can do to make these better, make these more helpful. Um, yeah, man, just let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. Have a, hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I forgot. This is I'm pre-recording this, so this is a this is a Tuesday. But when you guys see it, it's gonna be past Thanksgiving. So I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Let me know what you guys ate. Uh, I had, I already had my Thanksgiving because people are out of town and stuff. Like, we already had the dinner part of it, I guess. So, good eats, man. Good eats. Get yourself some macaroni and cheese, some sweet potatoes. But that's it, man. Take it easy. Peace.